Bishop b4, this is much better than the previous ones and there is a big uh, idea behind of this move. Uh, idea is that after knight c3, blacks played knight f6 and transposing to knight f6 line in the fourth move, knight f6, uh, knight c3, bishop b4. Uh, why they don't play knight f6? Because many players avoid after knight f6 the main line, knight c6, b6, e5, which we gonna play and I will show you in the third section. So after bishop b4, if you play knight c3, they go knight f6. If after bishop b4 we play bishop d2, uh, we are not losing any piece. After knight d4, we take the b4 bishop, and after bishop d2, queen d2, everything is protected. However, after bishop d2, black has good move, queen e7. And now e4 move, e4 pawn is hanging, d4 knight is hanging, and if you take knight c6, they take intermediate uh, the e4 pawn. Here is the idea. And after bishop b4, if you play c3, now bishop c5 and our knight on b1 is a little bit misplaced. It would stay on c3 uh, wonderful as we saw in the previous line, however we cannot hear any way to play knight c3. But with bishop b4 check, c3, bishop c5, they gave us tempo. Uh, yeah, we cannot play knight c3, but our pawn on c3 and the d4 knight is protected. So, after bishop b4, we play c3 move. This is the best move. Bishop c5 and play bishop e3. Now, knight c6 is coming, and after which we will have a piece up. We'll stay piece up. So, knight g7 is just a blunder. Knight c6 attacking opponent's queen, and bishop on c5 is losing. So, bishop e3, black is playing bishop b6. This is the main position of bishop b4 line. There are lots of moves here for white. Kasparov's favorite one here is queen g4. However, I will immediately show you the strongest one here, knight f5 move. Attacking the g7 pawn and using the fact that uh, opponent's bishop is not on f8, he is on b6. After knight f5, uh, black is playing g6. This is much better than bishop e3 move. Soon you will see why. So knight f5, g6, bishop b6, a b6, of course not gf5 because bishop d4 and this old structure is crushed. Bishop b6, a b6, knight e3. And this position when the pawn on b6 instead of a7, it's much better for black because the rook is open. Rook on a8 without doing a single move he is playing already. If after knight f5, black played bishop e3, knight e3, we would have the same position, but now instead of pawn on b6, pawn is on a7. This of course is black favor to have the pawn on b6, so they play g6 now. Uh, g6, bishop b6, uh, a b6, knight e3. Black is playing knight f6, f3, castle. And this is another trendy position of scotch game. There is interesting things is going in the theory now. Uh, people are playing um, c4 move with idea knight c3. And long time in the theory it was after c4, knight c3, white has advantage. Uh, first of all, it's pace advantage. Uh, knights on c3 are and the e3 are gonna, going to stay there very well, very strong. c4, e4 pounds, it's dominating the center. And white has a very pleasant game. However, after c4, a uh, few years ago, black find an interesting tactic with d5 move. They are crashing the center, it's a bit complicated. After cd5, they are taking another uh, sacrifice knight e4 move with idea after dc6, queen h4 check, some lines, complicated lines, and after knight e4, if you take here, queen h4 check, and again, some complicated lines, black has getting um, some advantage uh, against their sacrificed knight. And this is the theory right now, the trendiest part, f3 castle, and um, this is going right now in the theory. However, with GM Sam, we found an inter interesting novelty, queen d2 move. What's the idea? Anyway, after c4 move, uh, the long, the old theory here was queen h5 move with queen h4 check idea. White is playing queen d2. 
So we thought why not immediately to play after f3, castle queen d2. Next move we're gonna play c4. No difference. Anyway, queen d2 is a good move for us. And after queen d2, we don't let black to play d5. After d5 lets us immediately, it's just a pawn. We take d5 and uh, knight e7. Both, both moves, bishop c4 or c4, both are good. We are just pawn up. So after queen d2, our next moves are c4 and knight c3. And if black plays as in the previous uh, line, knight h5, c4, and we are getting uh, the old theory where white has advantage. The thing here is that after some simple move like d6, knight c3, bishop d7, we have two plans here. First is long castle and going again to our favorite attack like g4, h4, or more solid one, d6, uh, and with idea g3. G3, bishop goes to G2, castle, somewhere it may be possible, F4. We have very strong center because of this C4 and D4 move. And uh, look at these knights on E3 and C3. They are placed the best position they could. Knight on E3 is very strong, knight C3 is good. And the white has a solid advantage. And if after c4 blacks change the queens, queen h4 uh, with queen f2, queen f2, king f2, this is very pleasant uh, end game for white. It's not just a space advantage and long pressure, but right now immediately black is uh, getting some problems because of c7 pawn, as you have seen in many many lines in scotch game. And now with d6 after knight d5, they are just losing the pawn. If blacks play knight e7, knight c3, knight e7 with prote protecting against knight d5, knight c3 is coming. And after d6 again, knight d5, knight d5, knight d5, and c7 pawn is losing. Again, c6 is not possible because the b6 pawn will be lost. So after bishop b4, we are just playing uh, c3, bishop c5, bishop e3, bishop b6. Knight f5. Remember, just this move. Knight f5. If blacks play bishop e3 is better for us, we will get the same positions after knight f6. Again, f3 and c4, knight c3 with the pawn on a7. And when blacks, black plays the better version with g6, bishop b6, a b6, knight e3. Knight f6, f3. Next move c4 is coming. But after castle, do a novelty which is much better move than the old theory with c4 move. Queen d2. Next move c4, knight c3. And we have a very nice position and uh, solid advantage. 